I want to get into a couple, you know, kind of right off the bat, a couple of your projects, because I know this, uh, this Saskatchewan potash mine, I mean, that, that, that's sort of a mega project. I, I think I'd be right in calling that that. Yeah, over in Esterhazy, we, you know, we're just, we're, we're still commissioning and then we'll be completed probably at the end of Q1 into Q2 of next year, but we're just commissioning what we call the K3 mine, which is, um, you know, which has been over a $3 billion investment in that operation, capital investment in that operation. And, um, you know, it, it will effectively, you know, by putting that uh, two new shafts in there, we'll make us one of the most efficient potash, uh, underground potash operations in the world. Highly, highly automated uh, facility that we've built there. We've got, uh, uh, we've got four rotor mining machines underground that are, that are working, we're working on to be fully automated, which means we can go without an operator being on the machine um, to actually cut the potash and, and convey it to our shafts. So, um, a lot of good technology there, and uh, you know it's a it's a project that's you know been going on for a bit, and it's coming to an end here shortly. It hasn't been, from what I was reading, it's been about fifty years, I think, since uh, something. Uh, I I don't know if a new mine. I think a potash mine is a new potash mine has actually been in Saskatchewan. Is this are the new? With all the new automation and that, has that helped the process, just the, the technology that mines can use now, does that sort of help win over and get these projects green lighted or has it helped? For sure. I mean, nowadays the, the technology is, is so readily available and it's certainly, you know, not as expensive as it once was. So it's, it's and then it obviously makes our operations a lot more efficient and cost effective. So I think it does. When we start to look at the finances of these projects going forward, uh, technology plays a big part into, you know, getting the capital available for them. I, uh, you know, it, it said, I think this is going to, so this will, this mine will produce 30,000 tons per day. Do I have my notes right? We, we will actually be able to do about 60,000 tons um, up, the, up to different shaft systems there at K3. That sounds so, like a lot to me. Is that a lot? <laughs> it is a lot. I mean, I, I know my, my roots is, is underground mining and I've worked in different commodities. Uh, this is a lot of, you know, for an underground operation, this is a lot of material moving through, uh, through the system. It's certainly a lot more than I've ever been involved with in my, in my past uh, companies and operations that I've managed before. So yeah, it, it is a, a lot of potash we're moving um, every day. You know, and I don't, I don't know if this is in, in your sort of scope uh, within the company, but I'm, I'm just wondering, these, we've had so many people on our show with different technologies, and I've asked the question before of how do you integrate all these together? Were you a part of that process? Because a shaft, this, I mean, this, this shaft is going to be, again, looking at my notes, I think it's 35, 3,300 feet below the surface. Like, it's just yeah. huge. Um, and so putting all this together you know I, I just how do you how does a company even approach that because it's such a large scale and with all this technology what was the process of even choosing just the methods and all that I mean that in itself must have taken years really it was a combination I think of of things that we built in-house you know we look at some of the automation of the mining machines that we use to cut the cut the potash underground uh, that was all developed internally with our own uh, technical people. Um, but there's other things like the hoisting systems out there we use or, you know, we would have, you know, saw what others were doing and, and kind of uh, use that, you know, sort of off the shelf technology that was available to us and kind of put it all together into a project. So it was really a combination of learning from others, but also things that we built um, inside of our business. How competitive will this mine be uh, in comparison to to other operations, even even around the globe, just in efficiency and you know ESG targets and things like that? Yeah, if you look at just even on on an ESG perspective, I mean, we will we are doing it now, and we'll continue to do it with the K three project, producing potash at probably you know I would say half of what others are doing when you look at, uh, you know, greenhouse gases and, and these types of things, and you compare it to some of the overseas potash operations. So it is a, 
you know, I mean, Canadian potash mining, I think in general, um, is very sustainable when you look at it compared to other countries. On a productivity basis, you know, we will have the, you know, when you look at, say, an efficiency on a cost per ton, you know, we will, when the project is completed and fully implemented, we will be the uh, lowest cost per ton potash producer. Um, I, I believe, I believe, certainly in Canada, we believe on, on the planet.